And we're back to Adobe Audition. Let us talk about the DSA. Here I have a different audio file. I've used that for my last YouTube video. And I've already done the usual stuff that I do. But I wanted to show you the DSA. And this is used to filter out these harsh S sounds. It's typical to have that in there. So it's nothing that's specifically your problem or mine. Everyone has that. Let me delete my DS here. And now I would usually apply it. To do that, the easy option is to go to favorites and there is a DS with a predefined default setting. Just left click on it and you should be good. Obviously make sure that you've got your entire clip selected before. So left click on this, then control A and afterwards favorite the ESSA. It's going to take some time, but now it's applied. And for beginners, I would say that's already enough. But if you've got some more minutes to spend, I'm going to show you how you can set this up manually. Everyone has a different voice. Therefore it should have different settings for everyone. The way to do it, let me delete the last the ESSA. And now I go to effects, amplitude and compression and I use the de -ESSA directly. It has a couple of presets here that you can try out first. So before diving into setting it up specifically for your voice, just try the presets. So the ESSA for high and low voices and then see if it helps your audio. But if you want to do it specifically manually for your voice, we need our spectral frequency. Left click on this little icon right here to show it. You can also press shift D and then you should see this frequency diagram. And the S sounds are usually in the upper region, the upper half of these frequencies. And they also usually are completely yellowish. So if you find an S sound in your audio, like I did here, you can be sure that it looks somewhat like this. And left click and drag on it to select it. Let me zoom in a little bit. So there's a typical S sound or here to the right. And now we want to analyze this. To do that, go to window and then open the frequency analysis. This window should pop up now. And if I play this, but let me loop it. So I've got this icon down here active and then I click the play button. It's going to loop this little section that I've selected. And it's going to analyze only this. And usually this is what an S sound looks like in this frequency analysis. You want to now create a print of it. To do that, click on the one right here on the top. And now you have this reddish print and we can stop our loop. Let me move the slider to an area where we can see our print clearly. What you now want to check is the frequency. You can just hover over the positions and at the bottom of this frequency analysis, you see cursor. And there are the values that you need. First one is the frequency. Frequency here goes from left to right. So it's the X axis. Let me play the loop again. And you can see we've got the peak somewhere on the left hand side. Right here. So I should have created a print a little bit better. But around here should be the peak. And this is close to 5000. Hertz. Now we'll go back to our effects, open the DSA, and we can set the central frequency to 5000. So that's why we did this analysis. Now we'll have to check the bandwidth. To do that, we'll look at the bottom. In this case, we have two bottom positions, so on the left and the right. We can check that. Here it's around, let's say 3000 to even 10,000. So a bandwidth of around 3000 should be fine. And in this DSA, you can see if I make this 200, it's going to reduce the bandwidth. So the range around our central frequency. Let me make this, as I've said, 3000, and that should cover most of what we want to target. The threshold is now important as it's going to determine by how much we're going to go down with the sound of what we've selected here. If you have it set to zero dB, nothing is going to change. And if you go too far, it might make your voice sound a little bit muffled. So I think that around minus 30 dB is a good value, but you can try 40 or 50, but be careful not to go too high. 
as I've said, it's going to make the audio sound a little bit unnatural. To actually apply it, we now have to left click on our audio file, then Ctrl A to select it all, and then click on apply. And this now I manually applied the ESSER. You can also see it in the frequency diagram. Watch these yellowish portions. So I press Ctrl Z, they're much more yellowish now, they are much more bright. And if I use, you can see here, Ctrl Shift Z to redo, these yellow parts are going to get dimmed a little bit. And this is what the DSR does in the frequency. Once you're done and you want to go back to the normal view, left click on this frequency diagram and then uncheck the frequency analysis and you're back. So as I've said for beginners, just try the favorites. If that doesn't do the job, you may want to check the presets. And if you've got more time to spend, just try to do it manually using this frequency analysis. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.